Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestimies.com and uh, today I just want to give you an update on the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. So you remember that when I reviewed this, they had actually given me the sample off of the floor at CHA, so I had the first round. Then I found some errors in the board. Well now I've reported back to the company and um, they have made some fixes. So if you got the original envelope punch board with the incorrect markings, um, if you send them an email, they will send you out one of these stickers that then just adheres right on top over the old measurements and um, it will be more accurate for you. And stay tuned because I'll have that email for you at the end of the video. Um, so anyways, I did try out some of the new ones. By the way, I didn't have the uh, actual packaging and you can see I had to cut it open to get to it. But when you get the new, uh, if you order it fresh, you're going to get this sheet which has it in nice, big, bold type, which is another thing. If you have some eyesight problems, this may be hard for you to see, but this is certainly much, much easier, and this comes included in the kit. Of course, you're still going to get the board, and you're going to get the uh, scoring tool, um, but I just want to report back to you again that um, I tried... Well, first of all, I did a comparison, and I found eight sizes that were inaccurate from the first one to the new measurements. Now I had found like four and then I kind of just stopped. <laughs> um, but they've changed eight of these measurements including three by three, three by three and a half, three by eight and a half, um, three and a half by seven, three and a half by eight, four by seven, five by five, and five and a half by eight. And again I'll have these at the end of the video so you can kind of just double check and make sure you've got the right measurements. Um, but, uh, you know, I tried the 5x5, five five, which had been inaccurate before, and this is my 5x5 five five card, and now it slides in so much nicer. It's still a little, um, it's, it's snug, but it fits, which is the important thing. Um, I also found there's still going to be a little bit of a gap. Because of the, these are funky measurements and we don't work in centimeters, we work in eighths of an inch in the U.S., um, it, they're just bound to be a little off. You're also starting off with a square sheet of paper, which is also a little funky. Um, so some people were complaining that the four and a fourth by five and a half, which is the A2 in the U.S., is still going to be a little big um, for an A2 size card, which is actually four and a fourth by five and a half, but um, better a little too big than a little too small. Can we all agree on that? Yes, I believe we can. So I just wanted to show you, this is a three by three card which had the inaccurate measurement before and I'm going to do it here for you now so you can see how I do it. Um, they ask you to start with a five and a fourth uh, by five and a fourth sheet of paper and you line it up on the two and five eighths line. So here is the five eighths line and try and get right in the middle of that and you punch and you score. By the way, if you're a lefty, there's some confusion or some con people were kind of upset. Okay, so these are upside down, but I think your brain can easily invert it or you can just go through and write this. But if you're a lefty, it's just as easy to line it up on this side and score on this side. So that's my little two cents for the lefties. Um, when you rotate it, what I have found is that you're gonna wanna make sure that crease is good because this little foot, for lack of a better word, should be lined up right in the middle of the crease. If you go in the front, it's going to be a little off. If you go in the back, it's a little off. You have to go right in the middle. And then you punch, and you score, and you rotate. I have to actually feel it to line it up. And rotate. And one last time, right in the middle. And rotate. And by doing so, here's my 3x3 three three card. It should, and it does, line up just right. Like so. Ta-da! So, and here's my other little tip. I've been making little um, tick marks with my pencil at the top and the bottom here, and then just cutting off that overlap so that it meets up in the middle and it looks a little tidy. So it would look a little bit more like this when you're done. I just think that makes for a tidier looking card. So anyways, that's uh, the update. Again, um, We Are Memory Keepers has realized that there were errors 
Uh, they fixed eight of them. They're including the stickers and the big size measurements in the package. So if that was something that was dissuading you from purchasing it, I would not let it dissuade you from purchasing it. Um, I still love to make my envelopes. I've still been using it and um, I just think it's adorable. So anyways, uh, stay tuned because right coming up next is going to be that uh, email address so that you too can get your sticker uh, to fix your board if you got the kind of the version one. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you at crafttestummies.com.